Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on these Fantex PHTC14PE heat sink fans. They come in pink, orange, blue, and silver. These are the accessories included in the box. First up, we have your installation manuals in a couple different languages. And here's some information on how to position your bracket for your, let's see, your LGA 1366, 1156, 1155, and 775 sockets. And these are instructions on installation for your LGA 2011 socket. In this bag here, we have your Intel LGA 2011 socket screws. And this is your AMD set. I like how these are all nicely labeled. These two are your strip adapters and these four are your studs and you also have four socket screws. Bear in mind that you'll need the AMD stock back plate which is not included with these accessories unfortunately. And this is your Intel set. This is your back plate and we have your strip adapters, your four black studs, screw nuts, and socket screws. In this area here, we have your mounting plate with spring screws. Your mounting plate screw. These are your metal fan clips. And in this bag, we have your case fan screws. And these black ones are your, are your fan adapters, your fan clip adapters. And I'll show you just how they work in a little bit. This is your fan splitter and QS, QSA adapter, which, which stands for quiet speed adapter because when you have this hooked onto, let's say you plug in your two fans here and then you, you hook these together, it should slow down the speed of your fan for more quiet operation. And this is your thermal paste. Last but not least, we have these rubber dampers and also rubber bars. And I'll show you what they do in just a little bit. Here is your heatsink in blue and your two 140 millimeter fans. And the blades follow a blue theme, which is nice, although it is a bit duller than the bright blue we have here. And here are its three pin connectors. And the fan blades have a really fancy name. Get ready for this. They're called the Maelstrom Vortex Booster Blades. Wow, there are nine of them, which will give you a good amount of uh, airflow at 1200 RPM. Now for the heat sink itself, it has twin towers of aluminum fins. And on the bottom, we have your five heat pipes that branch into each separate tower so you can distribute that heat well. And the base as well as the heat pipes are made of nickel plated copper. I have attached these two fans onto this orange version of the heat sink. And I just want to tell you a little bit about it. These are the points where you insert your fan clip adapters. And you'll want to make sure these guys are facing the right direction. You can twist them from the top so that when you insert these fan clips, it won't be a hassle or anything like that. And to know which direction that this fan is pulling air from, simply look at the arrows on the side. The arrow pointing down means your fan is rotating this direction. And the arrow pointing this way means it is pulling air in like this. And here are the rubber bars and dampers that I mentioned earlier, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. You place these rubber bars along these edges so that when you install your fan, it'll reduce the vibration and then the noise. And for these dampers, you see these little spots here? You place these in there if you wish to use this fan as a case fan. And I have connected the three pin connectors to the splitter and also connected the QSA adapter. With this adapter, it'll reduce the 1200 RPM of the fan to 900 RPM. That wraps up our overview on these Fantex PHTC 14PE heatsink fans. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.